Hello everyone. Welcome back to a new video. Today I am going to show you how to create a Algo to place order easily. This is the demo of Algo to place order. First I enter 2000 in capital field. Which means I want to spend only 2000 for this order. Next 200 in loss. This will generate stop loss to not to loss more than 200 rupees. Let's look at the stocks which are performing well. This is the site created using PHP to list all stocks. You can create this for free using PHP. I have given the tutorial link in description and i button. Please watch and create one. Ok let's place some order. I would like to place order in Coal India. Type the stock name in name field. Select market order and buy. Click SL and quantity button. We can buy 52 stocks for the amount of 2000 rupees. And the stop loss is at 185.15, so we cannot lose more than 200 rupees. OK click place order. Order is placed. See the profit below. Let's place one more order. Iger Motors. Only three quantities and SL is generated. OK order is placed. Let's check this with position in Zeradha site. If you click the exit button, the order will be exited. Let's see how to create this. Open the link given in description. Those who are not interested in coding just copy the complete code from the link. Scroll down to the bottom to see the title complete code. Select the code. Copy the code. Paste into a notepad. We need to edit our API fields. Next, open the kite.trade. Click login. Open the app. Copy the API key. Paste on the API key field. Copy API secret and paste it on API secret field. Save it in .py format. If you don't know to create app please watch the first video in the playlist. Next run the code. We need to generate access token in order to connect to Zeradha. Open browser and type the URL as shown. If you want to learn more about this step please watch the video in description or i button. At the end replace your API key. This will be redirected to a URL with request token. Copy the token. Click connect in our program and paste the token. OK connected to my Zeradha account. Now you can place orders easily using this application. Let's check the details of Infosys. OK we got the results. In the next step I will explain the code. Let's see the all steps in detail. First we need to create GUI. So copy the code title GUI and paste on the notepad. I have divided the GUI into three frames. Top frame contains widgets to connect to Zeradha. Next order frame contains widgets to place order. Finally position frame to display position. 
when we click the connect button a frame will be displayed. That means when we click, pop-up method is triggered. Let's copy the code for pop-up method. Top is the new window created. It has one entry field to input the request token and button to submit the token. So when you click the submit, triggers the method connect zero ha. Let's copy the code of connect. Open kite.trade and login. Click the app. Copy the fields as shown. If you don't know about this, please watch the first video in the playlist. Next this top.destroy will close the window after submitting token. This code gets the username and displays on username label. This is the label of username. Run the code. Generate request token. Please watch the first video to know more about this. OK username is printed. Next step is when we type the stock details, capital, and loss, it should display stop loss and quantity. SL and quantity is the button we use to trigger the function. Here the quantity is calculated from by dividing capital by margin. And stop loss by dividing loss amount by quantity and subtracting that value from last price. This is last price field. OK let's copy the code to generate stop loss. Here name.get is used to get the value we entered on stock name field. Calculate the margin required for cover order. Margin.delete deletes the existing content in margin field. Margin.insert inserts the margin into the field. Next this quantity is calculated by dividing capital by margin value. This is the field name to display quantity. Next insert the value in quantity field. Next calculate the stop loss. SL is calculated by dividing loss by quantity. Next we need to calculate the last price. So create the instruments of stock name. This kite.quote return quotes of particular instruments. We can use this to find the last price. After that check whether the order is buy or sell. If buy, subtract SL points from last price or else add SL points to last price. Convert the loss into two decimal points. Again convert into multiples of 5. Next print the value in our application. Display the last price. Next copy the code to place order. Name.get is this field. This is stop loss field. By default we set market order and buy. If second radio is selected, change order type to limit. If sell is selected, change the transaction type. 
limit price is the value on the field LTP. Update the order type, transaction type, and quantity in place order method. Add one more parameter price. This is the value in the field last price. Next copy the code for position. This clear widgets will remove any existing widgets in the frame. Copy the code for clear widgets. This will get all the widgets in the position frame and remove them one by one. This is conditioned to list open orders only. Get the quantity and change into negative if the open order is to sell. Add labels one by one. This is exit order method helps to exit the trade. Select the code to copy the exit order. Order ID is passed as argument. Finally PNL. Copy the code. Get list of all widgets in position frame. There is 7 widgets in each row. So number of widgets divided by 7 gives number of rows. Add name of stocks to instrument array. We get the name by multiplying row number with 7 and add 1. Add a while loop to scan continuously. Call the quotes of instruments array. Declare a variable widget number. Add one more while loop to go through each widgets. Get the average price by adding 3 with row number. Quantity by adding 2. Get the last price of the instrument I is pointed to. Get the profit from last price, average price, and quantity. Update the profit in fifth column of widgets. Format to display only two decimal places. Set the value of profit label as overall profit. Set the color of profit label depending upon the profit. Execute the PNL inside a thread. Copy the thread code. Set the target of thread to PNL. Set stop position as true in stop thread. Clicking this position button triggers start thread and stop triggers stop thread. Within the loop check if stop POS is true. If true, break the loop. Ok that's all. I hope you understood the code. If you have any queries please let me know in comments. Please support this channel by likes, comments, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.